Welcome to the turning audio into MIDI tutorial. Now before you do that, make sure that whatever audio you've worked on, that you've worked out all the pitches because any little small blip or variation will be reflected in the MIDI. Okay, so things like this, of course, these little notes, they're gonna, they're gonna play back even if they're nuances in your vocal track. Okay, but we're gonna keep them as they are. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close the tracks window now I've turned this audio track into a jumbo view. I'm just gonna show you how to do that again, okay? So, I'm gonna be large, okay? Go back to jumbo, or actually go to emits. There we go. All right, so I'm going to select all of the notation data here, and I'm gonna go Command C to copy. Okay, we're gonna create a new MIDI track. Okay, if you don't remember that, it's Shift Command M. I'm going to press Alt and rename it here. We're gonna call this Vox MIDI. Make sure that we have all that right there. Okay. And we're going to select the starting point for the pasting. One moment. Make sure you're, there you go, pasting onto a MIDI track. And here we are. Okay, now this doesn't actually exactly start at the same point where the audio starts. So we need to make sure that we have everything in sync there. Another way to do that, just go to sequence here, change the size of this, all right. Okay, and let's put these guys side by side, one moment here. Okay, Vox, there we go. Okay, I think that lines up, yep, almost, let's just, Give her a little move. I don't know what this extra stuff is here, but let's just. Yeah, that seems to be right. Okay, let's take a look at that. Okay, we need to create an instrument. So let's add an instrument. Let's add a simple instrument here. Let's go for a polysynth. Okay, make sure that the MIDI okay, is playing the polysynth. Okay, and here goes. Let's see if we're in sync. One moment, please. Okay. Okay, so we just need to move this stuff over a little bit. All right. Seems to me, basically, that's the first note, right? Okay, turn the grid off. All right, we'll get to the bottom of this. There we go with that. Looks like that's right. You can also use the, uh, the arrows, okay, to make sure it works. Now, sometimes you wanna have the synth sound a little bit after the attack of the actual vocals. That can be cool too. Play around with that, tweak that up. Now, let's just turn that synthesizer up just so slightly. Okay, so some of those notes need to be looked at. Let's start from the top here. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's... Go back a little bit more, see what that sounds like. Okay, just showing you how to fine tune this, but you're gonna do your own thing. Okay, so let's hear it with the voice.
Okay. Right. Uh huh. That should be better. Okay. Careful. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure you don't change the pitch of that. There we go. And I think I did move it up. Let's see. Yeah. I moved it up a whole step by accident. It's very delicate there. Yeah. Okay, so you can continue to fine tune things here, all right, uh, in the MIDI side at least. So anything that's redundant, you know, that's in a, in your, in a, excuse me, in an inaccurate piece of information, okay, because there could be sounds in the room, even uh, room noise might turn into MIDI in this case, okay. You can, for example, delete one of those and then lengthen this, you know, and also make sure that the same thing is reflected in the audio too. Okay. And this concludes the turning audio into MIDI tutorial.